This is my smile in my hand. Phew. Look at that. Oh, God. Welcome back to my channel, LA Living. Today we're gonna to be doing an unboxing, my Smile Direct box. I am so excited. I took it out of the physical shipping box because, well, the coronavirus and I don't want any of that stuff in my house. But this has been sitting here for a while. It got delivered July 17th or 18th and it is now August 3rd. So it's been a while, but I'm really excited and I really wanted to do a video for this So I'm just was waiting for the opportunity. So we're gonna go through this process together of unboxing it I'll also show you guys my 3d aligners that they produce online of what my teeth currently look like So we can go through this journey together and see how well they work I'm really excited, but at the same time very scary because I have been watching some YouTube videos other people on making sure that I do it right I don't want to mess up the liners. Let's open this together Okay, so I'm actually gonna start by brushing my teeth first, make sure everything's really nice and clean because I don't wanna put the liners in and then mess potentially mess them up. So that's what we're gonna do. I currently have the Oral-B Braun electric toothbrush. But yes, I was seeing that some people said that it hurt to use the electric toothbrush because their teeth were so sensitive. So I guess, I don't know, a last use before I move to a traditional toothbrush. So let's say goodbye to the electric toothbrush for a little bit. I will miss you and I will have to actually put work into my teeth now. It's kind of gross, I know, but you guys all came here to see the progress of my teeth and then see like if it works for you guys. So this is what my teeth currently looks like. Um, I do have a lot of cavities when I was younger. As we all do, we eat, you know, candy and then don't want to brush our teeth. I don't, I think I have an overweight. I don't know. See? This is how my teeth stand alone. See, I just had like gaps right here. Uh huh. So that's what my teeth currently look like. Like I said, I'll show you guys the 3D model that they produced on the website, but they do have from when I did the impressions a couple months ago. I think I did them in March. They have that online. Let's get to unboxing now that my teeth are clean. I'm not gonna floss on the camera because that's really gross. Yeah, so step two. Let's unbox. Okay, so this is the box that it came in. So this is nice. It has like a little magnet clasp. Ooh. So box this. So let's see what's in here. So clear aligner guide it comes with. Read me first what's in the box. How to put your aligners in loose um oh it also comes with teeth whitening kits i remember reading that then if you want to get featured on instagram so let's get this video okay so let me take a moment to read this i don't want to bore you guys Okay, so I finished reading the clear aligner guide. While I was reading it, it said that every single time you want to eat anything or drink anything that is not water, you have to take your aligners out and then brush and floss before you put them back in. So I actually got hungry and so I ate before <laughs> we continue this process. But yes, basically how to know if it doesn't fit right. I guess there's like um, a filer in here so that you can file down the aligners just in case they cut into your gums. So yeah, that was pretty much all it said. Then this was the whitening guide. You'd have to do it two times a day for five minutes. Um, then there's chewies that just in case your liners don't fit correctly, you chew on them so it um, snaps them into place so that when you bite on anything else, you don't by accidentally crack them because they're not in. So let's continue this unboxing. So this is what it looks like inside. Here are the chewies that I was telling you guys about. Those are the chewies. Welcome to the club. Hey, Victoria, your four month, oh, four month smile journey starts now. We are so excited to help you on your way. Before I take everything out, this is what the box looks like. These are the whitening kit. This is the lip balm. It kind of looks like, I thought you were gonna chew on this. This is the lip balm, the filer. Oh, these are the, the cleaning tablets for your liners. Then here's my aligners. And this thingamabob, aligner remover thingamabob. So this is what we're gonna use to take off, take off the aligners. 
and then this is the case so that you have to put them in it said there was a secret mirror oh i found it are you ready guys Ooh. can you guys see yourself oh there you go <laughs> right here pretty nice here's the lip balm nice oh man this is so soft oh my god it smells really good Mmm. I wonder why they give you lip balm. I wonder if your lips start getting chapped easier. It's interesting. Oh, here's a smile stretcher. You have to use, this is what we use initially, and it stretches out your smile so you can take pictures so they can get a full look on what your smile looks like. So, here are all. Rip off one. The first one. Patience, fellow grinner. Only pull one set of aligners at a time. Okay, so... I pulled the first one, aligner one, 22 hours a day. So let's rip this open. I'm so excited. Okay, so let's move to the mirror so I can put them in right. Let's move to the mirror. Welcome to my floor now. Okay, so this says before you put the aligners in, you have to clean your hands, which I just did, and you need to put, soak these in water. Let's take these out. Oh my god, my I knew my teeth were tiny. Oh my god, this is weird. Look at this, guys. This has to be my... Yeah, this is my top. And then this is my bottom. So weird. <laughs> okay, I'm excited. Honestly, these don't seem like they'll fit my teeth. Why is this so tiny? You're really tight. <laughs> Oh my god, the sewer thing. Oh my god, this sounds. I'm. Yeah, okay. Hold on. Gonna use the liner setters. I'm not sure if you guys could hear it, but it was like popping sounds. I don't know, they don't feel right. My back is definitely not on. Honestly, I don't think these aligners are made right. It's just doing this. Like, it's just. Okay, let's try the bottom set. Okay, so I can see it in the mirror. Maybe you guys can see it. It doesn't even, there's not a slot for my tooth to even stick it on. Like, look at, why do they have a half a tooth? Who, like, that's what the slot is showing is half a tooth. I'll try it again. Second time around, if it's a little bit better. I feel like it's still not laying complete. It's laying more flat than it was before. Um, One thing I'm experiencing is it's cutting into my uh, hair. And I think that's why they give the filer. So right now it's really cutting into my mouth. But the bottom fits really perfect besides the cutting into my mouth. Let me file these down real quick. It's, yeah, it feels, <laughs> it's very tight inside. But they said, they said it would be tight. That's not the problem that I'm worrying about right now. It, like, honestly, like, let me show you guys this. It's cracked kind of at the top. Right? See? How it's cracked? Like... Poor craftsmanship, even with the top, is why it's not fitting around my tooth. Like, my tongue keeps on, like, kind of yanking on it where it feels like it's going to pull the liners down. Like, that's not right. I don't know how much to file it down. I don't want to do it too much. Okay, so now that it's filed down, let's see if that helps any better. I might have to go further. I just didn't want to too much and then ruin it. Okay, let's see. Oh, much better. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, so a little filing. I can feel some areas where I need it a little bit more, but it's not doing it as much anymore. It's just a little bit. I mean, I understand like why it might not fit correctly because you do the molds. I may have, may have done it wrong. They may have just not read it correctly. If they're not in front of you, how are they supposed to really tell? So anyways, I'm around a few errands and I'll update you guys on how they feel, what they look like right now. But okay, so I'll update you guys in a little bit to see the progress and how they feel and if I have like sores or something. Two hours later. So it is much later now. I am back from running my errands and I wore them the whole time. It was kind of interesting wearing them under my mask. I don't have the lisp as much. I'm still experiencing the cutting. So the top aligners, they're not cutting into my gums, but the bottom ones are. So I'm gonna have to file that down a little bit. I did a little research on, you know, the back molar. So I guess I didn't do my 
proper research for Smile Direct, but it actually doesn't fix your molars at all. All it does is strains your teeth. So I'm a little concerned about this tooth right here because that is one of the things that I wanted to do, but my sister was looking at it and she said that I might have to get it pulled out. So my main issues are up here anyways. And like right now, I can feel the teeth doing this. Like it almost feels like they were already straightening. So that makes me feel a little bit better on the fact that the half of a molar is cut off. I was reading a lot of people were concerned saying like, oh, why do I only have half a tooth? But I'm just, I hope the other ones fit a little bit better because it, it still does feel like it's kind of popping off a little bit. So let me file these down a little bit, okay? Some people were saying they actually got scissors and cut theirs. So it's an issue that a lot of people deal with because everybody's mouth is different sizes. But for sure, I have been wanting to like drink juice or like eat candy and I'm like, ugh, I have to take these out and I can't. So apparently maximum two hours can be your feeding, your feeding? What am I, an animal? It can be your eating time. Ugh, I usually drink my coffee for an hour in the morning. So now I'm not to drink in like, what, 10 minutes? Let's put these back in. Okay, these are the bottom ones are my main problem that it ripping into my gums. So let's hope I filed it down enough. Okay, yeah. Oh yeah, that is much better. So if you're experiencing the same pain with yours, definitely file them down. Don't be a little too scared. You could do it a little bit and then that's what I was doing. I was like messing in my mouth, like trying to figure out, okay, where am I cutting? File them down a little bit more. See, I think that the problem is, see this tooth right here, it goes in so they have a lot of extra plastic. And okay, another thing, how can I forget guys? Did you guys hear that? because there's a hole in my aligners, my top ones. I guess my tooth was too sharp or something and it cut a hole. It's not like I bit anything like, oh, I forgot that I didn't have them in there. No, it's just like rip. All right, <laughs> so let's smile. Almost feels like I have to smile differently because they hurt so bad. Honestly, they didn't hurt while I had them in there. The only thing that was bothering was like whole gum thing with my tongue. But as far as my teeth, it didn't really hurt. But right now that I took them out and put them back in, these front teeth are here hurt so bad. Alrighty, so let's move on to the next step online. And that is, let's see what I have to do to register. Yeah, register your aligners so they know how, that you've started and that when they have to come up for a new checkup. And I guess they send you reminders like, oh, it's week two, now put in your new aligners. So the next stage that I'm, you guys are gonna be looking at is on my computer and we're gonna register these aligners. Okay, so here's my teeth currently. Ew. Look at that. That's my teeth right now. Here's my top teeth. Not so bad. It's just that tooth right there. But my bottom teeth need work. See, this is my tooth that I was telling you guys I had my problem with. And I'm, I don't think they're going to be able to fix this right here. Oh, let's see. So that's the four month journey. For my bottom teeth, it does not look like it's gonna fix this tooth at all. Cause see only this is coming out. Okay, so my top teeth, what I don't like about my top teeth, my gap. Okay, in four months it'll be gone. That's really what I'm excited for is that gap in the front because obviously when I smile, that's what you see. Oh, look at, see how this is protruding? Okay, so it's not protruding, look at, ready guys, look at. Oh my God, so it's gonna go inwards? No way. Well, we'll see guys if this actually works. So that's my future smile, 110 days left, 12 remainers left, estimated ETA. ETA, I can't talk right now, 11.23. <laughs> righty, guys, so I registered them. I have to change them out on the 10th. Let's see if this works. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and staying till the end. I hope I showed you guys my experience. I was brutally honest, told you guys everything that I'm actually feeling. I don't want you guys to get into a contract and then you guys actually end up being unhappy with it. So the only things I brought in right now is the cutting into the gum. The fact that it doesn't fix your molars, but that's something that I should have researched before. I have this list now. <laughs> I have a list now, but I'm sure that'll get normal. People said they start talking normal <laughs> eventually, but it's not as much pain as I thought. Actually, I didn't think there was gonna be any pain. It's just they said the next morning when you wake up, but like right now my two front teeth are hurting, but it's not that bad. The retainers themselves are fine. Like the top one's fine. It's comfortable. It's just the bottom that I have to keep on adjusting. I need to take some scissors to it, I guess. We'll see next week how I feel. Um, I am gonna make a four month journey video and for the future, so you guys can look forward to that. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much 
for watching this video. Um, if you guys are also gonna be working with Smile Direct, you know, comment down below and let me know problems you're you're dealing with, and we can start a conversation. Um, also, I'm gonna be leaving my referral code in the description so you can get a discount. I'm not really, I can't remember. I think it's 150 or 350. I know it's a huge difference, but I'll write it in the description box. Thank you guys so much, and I look forward to a better smile in the future.